I could have died. I've seen myself dying, literally. Um, uh, my results, I look at my results, I know how to interpret results. So I look at results and then I would say like, I was actually at a particular stage clinically. And um, had I not been vaccinated, I wonder what would have happened. Nwami Sagalada says getting the jab saved her life. After getting vaccinated in March, she knew she was not completely safe. But never did she imagine how her health would take a turn for the worst post getting the vaccine. Three months later, after vaccinating, she contracted COVID-19. What started off as just a dry cough and nasal congestion, in days quickly escalated to body aches, painful eyes, throbbing ears and shortness of breath. She was unable to do anything by herself, relying on her mother to assist with everything. As her oxygen levels dropped to an abnormal low, she was hospitalized for a week. I had the vaccine, but I didn't expect, no, these are my expectations, I didn't expect to get that severely ill. I knew that even if you get vaccinated, right, you may still get COVID, but it would be mild, you know, um, not to the level that I experienced it. However, I think had I not been vaccinated, there's a huge possibility that I could have landed in ICU, ventilated, CPAP, you name it. However, I didn't land in ICU. So I, I would say, most possibly, if it helped, that's where it helped. And the mere fact that my mom was actively in my room throughout, from changing me and all that stuff, there was contact. As much as post-contact, she would have gloves on, she would sanitize, we sanitize almost everything in the house. Everywhere I've been, I would do it myself and then everyone else follows after me. It's like we do everything in double. But she didn't get it. She didn't even sneeze, none whatsoever. Having survived COVID-19, she knows the importance of the vaccine and would like as many people to get vaccinated. Key to that is ensuring that the country can procure as many vaccines as possible to reach herd immunity. While a few wealthy countries have secured for themselves more than half of the world's promised doses, most African countries are relying on the COVAX facility. Poorer countries had warned as far back as last year of this impending vaccine inequality quality, fearful that rich nations would hoard doses, and this seems to be the problem facing African countries. But it's not all doom and gloom. Pharmaceutical companies such as Aspen are manufacturing more vaccines for the African continent. We can manufacture between uh, 20 to 25 million doses of Johnson & Johnson a month. That's a big quantity. We're one of the biggest contract manufacturers. Mm -hmm. We will continue manufacturing for and on their behalf for South Africa. Of course, Africa needs to vaccinate 750 mm -hmm. to 800 million of its citizens in order again to look at achieving herd immunity on the continent. Uh, like South Africa, Africa is at a late start. I've indicated uh, the problem that vaccine uh, inequality has posed in South, Af in South Africa and Africa has been the hardest hit. So we will continue manufacturing as Aspen for the African continent as well. And a significant chunk of what we manufacture will go into Africa. To put it more granularly for you, or in a more granular fashion, everything that Aspen produces from October onwards, will all go to South Africa and to Africa. But the key to it all is ownership of the vaccines, which is what South Africa needs, so it can decide which countries it sends the vaccine to. As it stands, only two companies in the country are capable of making vaccines. But neither biopharmaceutical firm BioVac or Aspen Pharmacare can make the jabs from scratch. For South Africa to learn how to use their vaccine recipes, Pfizer or Biotech and the Moderna, they would need to do something called technology transfer. But the transfer is costly and may take months and South Africa 
is just not ready. And in the case of BioVac, they signed an agreement with the companies that produce a COVID vaccine, Pfizer and BioNTech, to also do the full and finished process of that vaccine. And they now busy with something called technology transfer, which basically means the companies are showing them how to make the vaccine and helping to get them equipped with the um, technology that they would need to make this. But even for this full and finished process, the technology transfer is so intensive and takes so long that the actual production process for the fill and finish of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine in South Africa for COVID would only start in 2022. And the contract was already signed at the end of June. So just that last process already takes more than six months for the technology transfer. For if we want to get BioVac to also produce the active ingredient, that would be a much longer process, you know, and could, could But some health professionals say, despite the challenge, it is still possible. Can we do it? Yes, I believe we can. But just like pharmaceuticals, it's probably going to take a lot of time to develop the full skill set. I think there's one company in Cape Town, Biovac, that has expertise in manufacturing vaccines for some time. To the best of my knowledge, that's the only one in South Africa, even though obviously Aspen down the road from here has started it. It will take time. What I really hope, however, is that the vaccines that are made here are actually used to treat South Africans and Africans. I'm originally from the UK and I would be embarrassed if the products that are being manufactured here end up going to the rich countries who are already stockpiling vaccines. This pandemic is not going to go away until there's vaccine equality and as many people in all countries receive the vaccine and are treated for this dreadful pandemic. Aspen says Johnson & Johnson have agreed to pursue a full license with Aspen and this would mean that Aspen will have full control of the product, including its allocation, distribution and where the product finds itself on the African continent. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Abeja.